So Terry Hashimoto here. The future is now kinda. What we're doing is we're showing you Benny the pressure mat, the Vista pressure mat. And Mark Cotto, a soccer coach, is playing a soccer game here. He's moving his head to uh, knock off these, these balls. And at the same time, he's doing, we're measuring his pressure. Trail side, lead side, right, left. And I'm gonna hit okay. And I'll populate a bunch of reports that the, were designed by a Dr. Tony Sturm from the University of Winnipeg, University of Manitoba, pardon me, and the, and the Winnipeg Health Sciences Center. And this is super cool. And Dr. Tony would then, I look at these, each one of these measurements and assert that whether what Mark's balance is. Now, Mark, I'm gonna get you just to get off this for a second. In addition to the pressure mat, we also have a treadmill. So Mark, I'm gonna get you to get back on it if you don't mind. I'm gonna back off the test. We're gonna do the same thing this time, uh, but we're actually going to do it with a treadmill. So you can see now Mark's walking, doing a cognitive test, and, and we're measuring his gait and cadence. So we're doing a dual prong neuro, neurological test here. We're doing a dual prong neurological test with Mark Cottle. This uh, software was developed by Dr. Tony Sturm from the Winnipeg Health Sciences Center, University of Manitoba. And um, we're measuring his gait and cadence while he's actually doing this cognitive test in about 17 seconds, and we'll edit out about 13 of it so you don't have to see it. Now, Mark's doing a real good job here. So, Mark's. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> come here, take a look at Mark's. Take a look at Mark. Well, look at, look at Mark's head here while he's doing that. That's cool. And then you can, that's cool. So, and Mark's really athletic, and you can zoom in in here, and very certain how game's over. All populates the test. And response time, movement time, ballot traces, movement errors, and um, variance and total success rate. And then we would send this information, actually this, the information's online. Dr. Tony Sturm would then assess this, and we would have developed recovery protocols for whatever ailment Mark has. And again, using either a, a static uh, pressure mat and or a treadmill. And you can back on a little bit better and show people the, uh, the both of them. So Mark's on this. Now we go back and you can see we can reset the games. And or we can check Mark's gate and cadence so we can increase the speed as Mark's, uh, Mark's improving. So now we, uh, and we're seeing the butterfly trace up there. Jerry Hashimoto with Mark Cotto and Benny Hashimoto doing the test here. And Bootsy. Now Mark's playing a much higher level of game, and you can see the competitive nature of it, where he's, we're measuring the gait and cadence and the results on the treadmill, and we'll zoom in on that, and oh, that's close. So we put the two balls in there to trick you, if you're, if you're suffering from any balance issues, uh, and any, you know, neurological issues, the... Uh, that other ball will trick you, and then look, here's the, here's the results again. So as you can see, what do you think of that, Mark? <laughs> so we've changed the settings and we're at rest now, and we can measure the balance at rest with these different background settings. And then I would hit OK, and there would be the report. I don't know what the data means, but Dr. <laughs> Tony Sturm does. So this is a pretty good uh, way to start uh, measuring uh, cognitive gaming using uh, pressure mapping as validation for your balance.